The holidays mean two things, good food and lots of love. That's why this year's theme for Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin is food is love, share it. And why not do a little sharing this season and help out a family in need? Throughout December, Feeding America is giving you the opportunity to help the 330,000 people that rely on this organization every year. Yeah, it's a lot of people. So today we welcome Gina Steyer, the Communications Manager from Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin. Welcome, Gina. Good morning. Nice to have you. Thanks for being here. So this is a new theme. I, I love the, the name of it. Why did you choose to, to go with that? It is. You know, Food is Love Shared is new for us this year, and we think it really embodies the meaning of giving during this holiday season because when most of us sit down for the holidays, we're sitting around a big table filled with food, and we're not just there eating. We're sharing laughter and memories and stories and experiences. And most people who are truly in need of a bag of groceries who are going to the local pantry or a hot meal program, they aren't sitting down and having that experience that we are. And so we're asking people to share a little bit of that, share a little bit of themselves, share a little bit of that bounty that you have mm -hmm. around the table with people who don't. And by sharing that, that's really a gift that you're giving to somebody that's in need and you may not realize it, but that gift of food really is a symbol of hope for people who may not know where their next meal is coming from. Yeah. So what is Food for the Holidays? Food for the Holidays is really a community outreach campaign to get the word out that people are in need right here in Wisconsin. You mentioned the 330,000 people who are relying on the food bank for food and this is their season and their opportunity to help. Mm -hmm. What's the need like this year in the community? You know, there, we've experienced about a 31% increase in food uh, distribution over the last two years, which we directly correlate to the need. And so our pantries are coming to us and needing more food. And so, you know, we're challenged now to keep the shelves stocked, and this is how people can help. Mm -hmm. Incredible to think there's a 31% yeah. increase mm -hmm. in just the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. And I think you're right. The, the, people think the recession's over, everything's mm -hmm. you know better. And people, I think we've, we know now that the, for a long time, people are going to still experience the repercussions of that. Um, there are a lot of different ways that people can help. Here mm -hmm. at today's TMJ4, we're doing something specific tomorrow right. that goes from noon until 7 p.m. What's nice about this is that it's convenient for people to drop off and give food. Right, you know, stop on by the Today's TMJ4 studios tomorrow, noon to 7, 720 East Capitol Drive. Bring your donation. Bring a food donation. Stop by with a cash donation or a check. Like you said, you don't even have to get out of your car, although it's supposed to be about 28 degrees tomorrow, which might feel oh. a little balmy. Yeah, after I was going to say, yeah. Oh, wear your shorts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, you know, meet some of the Today's TMJ4 um, news talent. Uh, Lance Allen, Mike Jacobs, Carol Meekin, Steve Shamraz will be out there um, to help us collect donations. Or if you can't get down, here there's a phone bank as well so call your donation in and we'll take your credit card donation over the phone looks like even santa the sausages made an appearance last mm -hmm. year and they're coming back this year this is some singers carolers mm -hmm. that's Aww. awesome it's a festive day and we'd love to have you come down and join us so if people can't make it to the drive through um and, and in the drive through you can bring food you can also bring cash um if they can't do that though how else can they donate sure um you can stop by at any associated bank through the end of the year any balustrary owned sendix store through the end of the Year. If you're driving around, you're out getting your groceries, stop on by and drop off your donation. And even one dollar makes a difference, right? It does. Every dollar donated to Feeding America provides five meals. And um, for a $15 donation, you can feed a family of four for an entire week. That's amazing. It is. And what kind of donations do people bring? You brought some um, yeah. good examples here. You know, th these are your traditional non-perishable staples that you find in your pantry. So things like peanut butter, pasta, cereal, oatmeal, soup, pancake mix, canned meat, and canned fruits and vegetables would make a great donation tomorrow. Yeah, think about the food that you like and your kids like. Mm -hmm. And those are mm -hmm. the same things that other people would love. I think it's nice to give holiday things, too, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. especially this time of year. Things like gravy, uh, the cranberry sauce, yes. green beans, all the things that people have in a traditional holiday meal mm -hmm. along with the canned meats that you mentioned. Are you looking for volunteers as well right now? Um, we're always looking for volunteers at the food bank. Our volunteer opportunities for tomorrow are full. Um, our friends at Associated Bank always help us fill that day. However, we're always in need of people packing food, sorting food, working events at the food bank. And you can look on our website at feedingamericawi.org to get more information. That's great. Okay, let's put up that information again. First, for food for the holidays, uh, which is going on tomorrow here at today's TMJ4. You can come through the drive through and the phone bank will be up as well from noon to 7. Our location is right here at 720 East Capitol Drive, right in Milwaukee, toward the lake.
It's easy <laughs> to find right there. And here's how you can find Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin. For more information, you can call them directly at 414 931 7400 or visit the website like Gina mentioned to find their other opportunities at feedingamericawi.org. Thanks so much, Gina. Thank you. Nice yeah, to have you. Happy holidays. Mm -hmm. Same to you.